guys it's me brown goddess i'm back okay so i may i'm making this quick video y'all know where i'm going i'm on my way to uh to work out because i done ate all the not all of the stuff but most of the stuff that i wanted to get when i went back home i got my heart's chicken twice I had to come on with the hearts because my son was like, Mama, please bring me back some hearts. So, uh, I, also, I didn't get to get any seafood only because, hell, I was eating from the time I uh, got there to the time I left. So, I ended up uh, going to, um, I ended up going to uh, hearts and I ended up going to, um, godfather's pizza i know it's probably one it's one in the state of georgia but it's like far far away and um i don't have time for that so i had to go and get me a pizza from um godfather's as well plus i was over in that area or whatnot but um so so we, me and my daughter, we rolled down, rolled down there um, Sunday. So first, I had rented a car because of uh, my car being hit multiple times, and I didn't feel like it was safe to drive. So it cost me uh, a lot of money to, uh, not a lot of money, but it was a, it was a fuck enough when you got a car. And so, uh, yeah, renting the car for three days was the equivalent to like half of my car note. I was like, the sorcery. I didn't know what it was right there. And then I had a $200 deposit. So it was like the equivalent, it was more than how much my car note was, but they gave me um, the deposit back, you know, once you, you didn't smoke in it and you brought that shit back, which I understand. And so, uh, anywho, so I rented the car and I ended up uh, taking a lift there and it was like $20 to take a lift from my house to the, um, the uh, rental car place. I didn't know that I could have left my car at this rental car place because it wasn't at the airport because the airport is like 40 minutes away from my house. So I didn't want to just um, go to that one to rent the car. So I wanted to go somewhere close. So I ended up renting the car and it cost me like $20 to uh, get a lift to go out there. So the dude took me to um, get the car. I got the car, which was no problem, it was quick. I ended up getting the same car I rented um, that time my car got uh, got lit, uh, got messed up in Montgomery. Uh, well, you know, yeah, in my, um, well, the open like or whatever. So it was the exact same rental car, so it was crazy to me. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I rented the car and um, we got the car rented and, well, I got the car rented and um I, I drive back and then i didn't leave um saturday because there really wasn't a point to go down there saturday and it cost me um more money and all of this kind of stuff even though i could have did more if i would have went saturday but mm, it, it, it didn't matter it didn't matter about as long as i made it down there for monday which is the whole reason for going down there too so i ended up um I ended up, um, what did I do? So we ended up, me and my daughter, pack up our stuff and we drive down to um, Mobile and we make it there um, a Sunday morning. We make it down there Sunday morning because we left early. Well, it was about sun, Sunday afternoon. I was going to say. And so um, I have to stop by the hotel because. If you don't stop, if you're traveling now because of the COVID, if you um don't stop at a rest stop, you can't stop at like a random gas station and use the bath and use the bathroom because um to use the bathroom because it clearly says no turn on red and these people just turning their butt off. Then they gonna be mad when the police pull they behind over. But that's neither, that ain't my problem. So, um, anyway, so we make it down there. Whoa, so we make it down there and, um, 
always let these people over. We make it down now. Lord, y'all these people can't drive for shit. But um, we make it down. I'm, we make it down now, and uh, we gotta stop by the hotel first. We gotta go to the bathroom real bad because you can't stop at a random uh, gas station or whatnot. And so then uh, we go and see my dad. That's the first stop because she wanted to see my dad too. And so we go and see my daddy, and um, we go and see my daddy, and um, we take pictures with my daddy. And he was like, "I still got the uh, Father's Day card." You uh, gave me uh, last year. I was like, of course. I, I, you my daddy. Like, I like you, daddy. So, uh, we go and see him. He, like, send the pictures to my phone. Because, you know, he wants to post on Facebook. Because he's one of those, you know, old people that, uh, like, when you come around and you done seen memes or you done seen jokes or you done seen videos and stuff. And they want to, um, like, come here, baby, look at this. But they just find it so hilarious. And you like, dad, I seen this, but I got to play it off and laugh, too, like I hadn't seen it. It's kind of like that, but he's so cute. So, um, he has cancer, and but he's doing okay. He's doing okay. He's getting around. He has to have a cane and all of this kind of stuff because my dad, oh, well, he's in his 60s, so he, oh, but he been, look, he been living his extreme best life since I've been here and before then, so he ain't even supposed to be on this earth, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother different day. But love my daddy. And so, um, and so, uh, I put a little something in his car, and I was like, you know, you know, go get you something nice. My dad crazy. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, what happened? So we leave him, and I'm like, daddy, I'm gonna come see you tomorrow, uh, before I leave, because I'm leaving out tomorrow. He was like, oh, okay, okay. He was sounding like he was upset about it, but he was like, please make sure you come see me before this, that, and the third. So, y'all, I was supposed to be on my way to the, I'm gonna go to the, um, the, uh, altar up here, because, um, the Sephora ain't nearby, and then two, um, I don't know what time they close, and it's already about to be six o'clock, so, and I need to get some, um, of this, fa my favorite concealer, uh, up here. I know they have it. I could have just ordered it, and it could have came to the house, but I'm getting tired of ordering stuff and having to wait for it when I can just go around the corner and pick it up, so I gotta go see if they open, so I can go get this right quick. That's where I'm going, because y'all know by now I would have been to the, um, I would have been to the, um, to the gym by now because it's right around the corner from the house. But anywho, so um, well here we at the house, so we're gonna have to cut this up. We're gonna pause the video once I run in here, and then I'm gonna come back out and um finish, try to not finish recording because you know anyway. So um, so you know I leave him and then I go drop my own daughter off, and they have like this big uh barbecue um at her grandmother's house um where you know her dad's people and stuff and i know everybody there and they always been so nice and they like you know we all talking and laughing and catching up and stuff and then they um started serving the um barbecue and they got these big ass uh brontosaurus ribs uh and they and mark macaron that works because you know the mom could just throw the freak down so um I was, she was like, you want something? And I'm like, uh-uh, cause you know, first, my first stop after I, um, after I, uh, after, uh, I went to the hotel and used the bathroom, I went and got some hearts. So it was sitting in the car, so my mind was all tuned to do boot it up for the hearts, even though I could have had that, but it was like, nah, nah, I'm sleeping, cause I done sat there with them for a little while, and then I had them got sleeping. So, uh, that was that. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have to be back, okay? Hi, it's me, bro. I got us some back. Okay, so I done went in the damn altar and lost my mind. But it's fine because uh, I wanted to try this um, uh, number seven um, wrinkle thing. Because like I'm, a, I used to be a smoker, uh, a cigarette smoker for over ten years. Man, I have these little, these little lines underneath my eyes that are um, becoming prominent as I'm getting older. Y'all can see them, and it makes, and it don't matter 
if I use my favorite concealer, NARS, Juvia's Place, whoever, it, it don't matter what concealer I use, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get a little hey, you know, it's trying to show show some stuff. So I'm just trying to so I'm not uh into uh getting any Botox or anything like that. So um I'm gonna try the next best thing and see how this works um for me. Even though y'all see my makeup, it's real flawless. And then this, like I keep telling y'all, this isn't foundation. This is tinted moisturizer. We're gonna get to that right there. Okay, so okay, so where I was at. Okay, so I went to Hearts beforehand and I went and chill with my daughter's um family. And uh they were real cool. They always been cool with me or whatever. And um and so uh I sat with them. They was eating the brontosaurus ribs and stuff. And then I, uh, they was like, you want some? And I was like, nah, because I was getting sleepy at this point because y'all y'all know I'd be up overnight instead of during the daytime. And when I got up hella early, when I got up hella early, then that threw my whole sleeping uh, pattern thing off or whatever. So I went ahead and I was like, nah, I'm gonna go. So I went, where did I go? Okay, so I went to the um so i stopped and went to the um where the hell did i go oh i went to the hotel i went back to the hotel at this point because i was gonna go take me a nap because i was gonna get up and go back out later on that day so um i go and i uh take a nap well i eat the hearts and i go and take a nap and then i wake up around this time it's not even late it's like nine something so I was like, okay, I'm going to get up and um, go check out um, my homeboy's club spot. It's not a club. It's a, uh, it's a it's called Halftime um, Sports Bar and Grill, right? So uh, I go there and they, uh, it's real because me and him went to school together. So it's a, the music is a mixture of new as well as uh, the stuff that I listened to when I was in school. So it was like a nice little chill spot. Only thing it is, right, everybody in there I could tell was at least 10, five to 10 years younger than me. You can tell that. Okay, so it would have been cool if I would have ran into him or whatever, but I ain't even asked the girl. I could have been like, hey, girl, uh, is the owner in the place? But I ain't even do all that because I wouldn't even here for that. But they made these drinks. They were called something marijuana. I had two of those. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she put in there, and I really don't care. But all I know is it had a sister feeling right. I was feeling good after the first one and then it, I really started feeling good after the second and I don't get guys like guys will stare at you and stand next to you and I know sometimes my face be looking like I ain't here for the bullshit and, and, I, and I get that but don't stand next to me for an entire 30 or 45 minutes, like going back and forth looking at me, and you can't even, and you don't even have the, 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 the um, confidence enough to introduce yourself. Even though I know this, the, you know what I'm saying? I know these people is like five to 10 years younger than me. I know this. Okay. That ain't the problem. What the issue is, is that. Why you won't just say hello? Like, you don't say nothing. Just say hello. Just say hello. Hi. Hello. I'm a nice person. Just say hello. You know, but that's neither here nor there. So after making me feel a little bit uncomfortable comfortable for about 30, 45 minutes, I was like, uh, my food ready because I had to order some food. So I got their halftime wings, which were so bomb. It took a hell of a long time for me to get them, but they were bomb. They were good. I went back to um, I went back to the room and I ate and stuff. And then um, yeah. So fast forward to uh, the next day. I get up. It's raining. Why didn't y'all tell me it was gonna be raining like that? It wasn't sprinkle raining. It was real deal. 
you need to stay here behind at home unless you really got something to do raining in mobile so i was like damn so the first call i get was from my daddy and he like i'm over here you know his best friend's house come see me before you go i told you to come see me before you go and i'm like daddy of course i'm going to come to see you and i'm on my way live i had to go by the credit union first because it was on that side of town where i was at and everything else i wanted to do was on the other side of town so I ended up going to the credit union. Mind you, everybody in there has on a mask. I'm talking about the people who's who, who's coming in, the workers, everybody has on mask, right? Here go this B. She gonna say, can you remove your hat? Can I do it? So I looked around as if I know this, this person is, I know this girl is not and then you know what I did? I removed my hat. And I stood there fuming. I'm talking about if anybody know me, trying it ain't, ain't it. I, I'm the person that's got to say something to you. And she really tried it. You got people coming in here with their whole face covered, but it's an issue with my hat. I was like, so are you going to say something and get out of character? Or are you going to pick your battle and let that go? So I had to talk to myself. And you know you mad when you have to talk to yourself. So I was like, give me my money. Give me Girl, give me my debit card. Give me my money. And let me get the hell out of here. Because this is why I, I had to leave. Because y'all with that petty dumb shit. They wouldn't have never did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for some reason, then she was one of me, us. Like this. The little Chinese lady said nothing. The little white lady said nothing. Oh, but one of us. With the braids. Who looked like olive oil dipped in chocolate wanted to say oh can you remove your hat oh okay because i was cute that day i don't know what the problem was because you really okay anyway so 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 i digress so i leave there and i'm on my way to the other side of town to go see my dad so it's raining cats and dogs and i'm being cautious and everything and I finally make it to him. So I go there and he's doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? Blazing. Putting one up in the air. Maybe the third or the fourth. I don't know. I don't really care. Love my dad. That's what he do. And um, I'm sitting there talking to them. And I'm telling them about what happened. And they was like, the fuck? You, I know you went off. I know you went off. Because you go off. And I know you went off. I was like, you know what, y'all? I was being adult today, and I didn't go off on this chick. I didn't do it. And so uh, his best friend comes when I'm leaving. I sit there and talk to him for a while and and everything. And then I had to go and stop by Hearts again, which is right around the corner. My mom stays right next door, by the way. And I saw her car there. No, I did not stop because that's just what that is. So I stop by Hearts or whatever, and I get my son his chicken that he wants. And then... I have to go and stop by um, Godfather's um, on the other side of town. So I stop by Godfather's, right? So I'm at Godfather's and I'm leaving from Godfather's or whatever. And um, it's like all of these ambulances, police cars, all of this kind of stuff. So mind you, y'all, I don't know what's going on and I really don't care to find out. Find out later, this lady gets shot. She has, She's dead over there in the parking lot. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That, that makes a lot of sense. So all of the people were out there. So that was crazy. So um, so what happened? So then, okay, so I'm leaving. I got to go to the gas station. So I'm going to the gas station. Okay, now the rental car has the tag, a Kansas tag on it, right? 
Kansas tag. Yeah, he had a Kansas tag on him. So I'm out, and this guy is, you know, and I'm seeing him look. I'm seeing him looking at me, and I'm looking like, why don't people like to just say hello? How are you doing? Like they just want to look at you and and awe and shit. I don't know. So I see him, he's about to get ready to leave, and I'm going in. So he's ought to be pulling off at this point. No, no, no. This man comes back into the store. He just stands there and stares. Don't order nothing, don't do nothing, just stands there and stares. So I get what I'm getting, and I get my gas and I walk out. And he walks out behind me and he was like, he was like, um, are all of the women that live in Kansas are as gorgeous as you? And I was like, I wouldn't know because I'm from here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I, I didn't do it in Kansas. I, I don't know. I'm from here. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this, you know, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, he's like talking and da da da. da. And I'm looking like, look, I don't be really having the time what you could do i'm gonna give guys a heads up what you could do is just automatically be like look i want you like a nice person i would like to get to know you uh can i get your number you know don't sit up there and give me some dry ass conversation that i'm i really not i'm being a rush sir like if you want the number just ask for the damn number either i'm gonna give you the right number i'm gonna give you the wrong number but you wasting five minutes to ten minutes of my life telling me how gorgeous i am is not gonna get you the number you're gonna have to ask for it be a man ask for it like be a man ask for it. i'm not gonna just give out my number to randoms and then anyway i digress again so um I go a couple other places and then get on the road and I head back. It rained the whole entire time that I'm driving back to Georgia. So I finally get back to Georgia and I make it to my um place and um I tell my son help me get the stuff out the car because I have to turn the rental car in. So I text my sister and I'm like, hey, because she stays right down the street from the rental car place. So I'm thinking, oh, I could save me some money and get her to bring me home, but. This bitch ain't even in Georgia. This bitch ain't even in Georgia. She's like, I promise you I would have came and got you, but I ain't even in Georgia. I know it. Anyway, it don't even matter at this point. It ain't like I, I hell, at this point, it don't even matter. So I, I sit, I chill, you know, I show my son all that. Like I say, some pizza. I know you like all father and see your heart's go. Um, blase, blase, you know, whatever, whatever. So I, um, Finally go out and it's raining still, y'all. So I get to the rental car place and they're close. So I have to do the little drop off thing, but it's like an hour and a half before I have to turn the car in. So I'm trying to find a lift who would come and get me in the rain. So they wouldn't. They was like not connecting me with nobody. So then I went and tried to do Uber, which I never did Uber before. And then they was like, we're not. At, they can't accept my two cards I put on file. And I was like, okay, fuck Uber. And so then I went back to the Lyft app. And then they was like, yeah, sure, we're gonna send. So they had this um white guy in the van. So then it switched over and was like, nah, we're gonna see this black guy in a Taurus. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. You know, at this point, just come get me. So, well, they sent me the boy. The Uber people sent me somebody named Gary, and Gary honestly didn't look at where I was at because I think he went to my apartment instead of the Enterprise place because he was like, "Where are you?" And I was like, "It's me and the big the black girl in the um in the blue hat." You know what I'm saying? Out front, and I didn't see any vehicle that matched his description, even though vehicle pulled up. So he canceled the ride. So he obviously dumb and went to my apartment instead of coming to the Enterprise. So they canceled it. So I done got out the rental car right at this point and then put the key in the damn drop box. So now I'm standing out underneath the shed in the freaking rain, waiting on somebody to come get me. So I put in the lift again. Like I said, they sent me the black guy, whatever. So I'm waiting on him. He like 15 minutes. Like, cool, whatever. Okay, I'm sitting out here waiting. So um, he pulls up and I get in the car. Of course, he's not uh, Derek Black. He's Jamal Black. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what the hell I'm saying. Don't whatever. He's Jamal Black. So Jamal Black pulls up and Jamal, look, I'm finna show y'all Jamal. So Jamal on oh, the picture looks decent. But Jamal who pulls up to come get me has on a wife beater. Some basketball shorts. He got on the thigh outfit, y'all. He has on the thigh outfit. So he has on the thigh outfit, right? And he's like, I already know where this is going. I already know where this is going. And I ain't even hating off of it. But I know where this is going. It's strictly going to, oh my God. Look, he's like, oh my God. Your, your skin is so beautiful. The reason you the reason why I drove, I chose to drive Lyft, and I will be your driver, and da 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 da. And I'm looking like, oh, you so sick. And he even said, my skin on my arms was like, like no no marks and stuff. And I'm looking like, what kind of bitches? What kind of bullet wound bitches you been dating? So. But you know what? That ain't the first time I heard that. It, I had this ex-boyfriend who used to give like fire, fire, fire massages. Like fire massages. And he even was like, man, he was like, you ain't got like no marks on your body. You ain't got like no marks on your body. And I'm looking like, what kind of bitch is this? What kind of eczema having bitches? I ain't saying nothing against eczema, but I'm just saying what kind of I don't know. So the whole ride, he's like, okay, so you know, okay, one of my phobias is riding with people while it's wet or raining out. I cannot do it. I can't, my nerves won't let me do it because I was involved in an accident with my sister and it was horrible when it was wet. I even lost control of the car when I was pregnant with my son, come around the curb, and I hydroplane, and the, 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 the save your life tactics that they teach you in driver school kicked in, and that's how I ended up getting the car back straight and saved my life, and I was just like pregnant and over hysterical, and yeah, so I have this phobia about riding with people when it's wet, so this, 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 the, so he wants to flirt. And pull up his fucking Instagram <clears throat> while driving around curbs and it's wet. So I'm sitting there like, I don't want to talk no more because my life is like, if, if I die in this fucking Taurus, I mean, uh, jars, I'm going, I'm going, I don't want my last words to be, <laughs> you know, damn you, Jamal. So, um, so I'm shutting up at this point, and I'm like, just go straight. Just just turn right here, go straight. Just go straight. Just go this way, because I'm knowing this is the quickest unstop. I ain't got to get stopped by lights. He ain't got to get stopped by lights at this point. So it's like, I need you to take the quickest route to get me home so I can get safely in the house, and I won't have to die. Right? So... So he's, he's taking me... Sorry. So he's taking me home, right, at this point. And I'm like, turn right, you gotta go use her to get to my apartment. Okay, so we get to that. So, I'm like, okay. And I know he wanted me to ask, to say, get asked for his Instagram. I know he was talking, talking about how he's a promoter. He goes to the studio. He, um... He drives concrete trucks for a living. Da, 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 da. He really trying to sell himself. And I'm looking like, sir, you pick me up wearing a wife beater and, and, and basketball shorts. Even though it's raining. I know. I get the point. I get the point. Where professionalism comes, you know. And then you're talking to me while it's raining. Going curb, doing curbs, going around curbs, showing me your Instagram, telling me how you blow trees, and I'm not interested. I'm not interested at this point. You told me my skin was like silk, and you would be my personal driver, and I don't know you. And only thing I could think at this point is give this man 
four stars, a little tip, because he knows where you live. That's all I could think was damn. I can't, you don't even need that number, because bitch, you know where I stay. You know, I was like, drop me off right here in front of the rent office. Like, and then I waited. I like walked slowly to the building so he wouldn't know exactly what building or whatever. And I got out the car. I got out the car. And yeah, one thing I think about at that point was damn, this motherfucker know where I stay. So yeah, moral of the story is just drive your own goddamn car to the runner place and leave it there. Just, just leave it there. Just take your chance and leave it. I don't give a damn if you gone for a week. Just leave it there at the run the car place and just take your chances. But y'all, I'm finna get out this car and I'm gonna go ahead and work out because I got to be to work tonight. Damn it, you motherfucker essential worker. But, um, yeah. I don't know. That's what happened. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So, look. So, look. I'm sorry. Um, so, I ended up, you know, I came home and I ended up, um, Within, I had ended up with a tennis bracelet, and I was like, "Where does tennis bracelet come from?" I had my address on it and everything. Then this morning, you guys, my son go check the mail, and he comes in there, and I'm like, "What the hell is this?" Because I know I order stuff, but I remember everything I ordered. I didn't order this because I'm not even a label whore. I go and shop at Shein and, and Fashion Nova and Boohoo and all of these other places for like, I'll get shoes out of uh, the shoe rack and all this kind of stuff. I'm not like a label whore type person. Now, I give my tennis shoes name brand, but you know, that's a whole different story. But, um, but yeah. So I opened the package and it's the yesterday was a tennis bracelet and I'm like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. And so then I opened up the it's a Louis wallet. A Louis Vuitton wallet. Now see y'all know if anybody know me, I ain't no label whore, especially a Louis Vuitton label whore. You know what I'm saying? If it just so happened to be on sale, I like I I got me a um I got a coach purse, um, or whatever. And I just thought that the, this purse matched everything. That's the only reason why I got that. Plus, it was on sale. Because, okay, so, anywho. But I I know I did not order this fucking Louis. I know I did not order this Louis wallet and had my address on it and everything. So, shout out to the person who purchased me a Louis Vuitton wallet. It should have had some money in it. But I know when you're mailing stuff, you know, that's kind of if, especially cash. So, um... So yeah, so whoever gave me the Louis wallet, I appreciate it. It's it was nice. And it matched my you know, my coach purse, but even though it's two different designs, but just neither here nor there. So um yeah, but um yeah, that was interesting to me. What the hell does this man? I don't even know what this man got. But yeah, but that was um I wanted to throw that in at the end of the video. But you guys are gonna go ahead and work out and go ahead and get my little my oh I got my pants on with the pockets on it. So hopefully I can put my pant my um, phone in my pockets. And um and it counts my steps, so I want to hold it in my hand because that'd be like kind of awkward to be holding it in my hand and I'm walking on the treadmill and stuff. But yeah, you guys, I uh, enjoyed my trip. I wish I could have stayed longer and everything. And yeah, love you guys, and I will see you in the